Hey guys. Okay, so a lot of you are following the arrest of Datman in uh, California um, at the Culver City Post Office. Um, I actually meant to do this video uh, more recently than what it is. So everybody that is out there doing audits of post offices, I'm going to link the postal regulations on photography. I want you to read them carefully. DHS does not govern the U.S. Postal Service. The U.S. Postal Service is not entirely a government agency, and they do not fall under the peruse of uh, DHS. The Postal Police have their own law enforcement and um, investigators, etc., so forth. Postal Service is a private business. It's kind of weird. Um, it's not. It's not a private business in in the the normal sense. Okay, it's subsidized with tax dollars, and uh, and all of that. Okay, and and that's where it becomes fair game for audits. However, it's still a private, uh, supposedly self-sustaining business. All right. Um, again, it's, it's it's a kind of a weird thing because they're they're government protected and government regulated, and there's and there's a lot of crossover in there that makes it confusing. But when it comes down to postal property, okay, it is owned by the United States Postal Service, not the people per se. Um, their regulations allow for non-commercial photography um, in common areas, but they regulate that. You can't take pictures of postal employees, postal customers, mail, security measures, etc. so forth. It's all in the regulations. Please guys, read the regulations, okay? Um, some locations, it's because it's it's the uh, the local postmaster at the at each individual post office is given a lot of discretion about the uh, public photography. So what may be okay in Georgia, at one location in Georgia, may not be okay at a location in say Colorado. Okay, it's going to vary from location to location. So. This is one of the reasons I do not enter onto postal property when doing audits, okay? Um, I, I don't want to see you guys getting arrested and, and charged with criminal charges that will stick. So understand what you're doing. Read the postal regulations and work within them. And whenever possible, just stay on postal proper, um, public property. Okay, if you enter on postal property and they ask you to leave, just do it. it, it that's it. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, I, I, again, this is aimed more at auditors than anybody else, but uh, uh, it, it, it's important because we're, we're seeing a lot of problems and we're having auditors that are getting charged and the charges are sticking. And, uh, uh, you know, this is, this is a, something that you cannot screw up. Um, because if you do, the charge sticks and, and you get in trouble. And, and the whole purpose of this, of what we do, is to operate within the law. And uh, you've got to know where your boundaries are. Now keep in mind that we are all law-abiding, peaceful citizens. Okay guys, as you can see, this is northbound on 146 in Galveston County. There's the speed limit sign, says 50 miles an hour. It is clearly marked. You're gonna see this deputy come up on the left. <clears throat> Here's my speed in the lower middle. 
of the screen. Okay, I'm doing 50, 51, 53, 54, and he passes me like I'm sitting still. Now my van is set up for highway driving. See the speed limit sign? I recently had the front end completely serviced and replaced a bunch of components because I travel on the highway so much. And I opt for speed rated tires. Even so, I do not recommend anybody tries to run at high speeds in heavy traffic. Traffic here is moderate, but it gets heavy. Now this deputy has seen that I am following him. And he begins to evade me. You're going to see he'll start to zigzag in and out of traffic. As we get closer to lights and stuff up here, a couple miles ahead, he cuts in and out because uh, he knows I can't, I can't come after him. But look at these speeds. 80. And the speed follow, falls down to 45 right here. And he's still well over. I'm at 75 and he's still pulling. Yeah, he's, he's more or less the same speed I am. Let's just call it 75. There it is, marked 45. And you say, what's the difference between him and me? If I get caught, I expect there will be consequences. I expect there will be a ticket, possibly an arrest. He's exercising his blue privilege because he knows that if they catch him down here speeding like this, they're not going to do anything to him. 